Hi, it's me again with Corona Old Tips and Tricks. I was trying to help somebody and find out I really can't help them. They want to make like a character. Uh, I wish I could find that email real quick. Um, they want to do that right there. I don't know how people do it. Uh, I'm going to still give it a try, but I thought I'd show you how I at least got this far to remove the background of this puppy dog. So we're gonna, it's pretty little, so we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a duplicate and we're gonna nudge it over and never move our nudge again. I'm gonna trace bitmap outline trace. This time I'm gonna go low quality image. I normally go clip art. And I'm gonna up the detail. And what that did, that really gave me more spots. Now this is a little bit maybe unorthodox uh, the way I'm going to do it, but it works, or it worked in this case. I'm going to go to object, order, or group, and ungroup, and I'm just going to start deleting. And if you hold down your alt key, anything in that box that touch is going to delete. So any of those colors. Now, if we lose part of his ear like we did there, don't worry about it. We can uh, kind of redraw that. I'm just trying to get rid of all the trash that's not part of the dog. And we're almost there on that side. And you'll see just a second how I'm going to kind of, and it's a, you know, like a while ago, I just was removed too much. So I'm just going to remove this stuff first and then kind of uh, work with the dog. And in lieu of hand tracing this, I think this is where I'm going to lose the dog right there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make a duplicate of this and nudge it down, but we're going to look at this one with no color and an outline. And by doing that, we can see all the gaps and everything it did. I can take my shape tool now and look at all the nodes and I can start deleting these nodes of this piece, hopefully. There are so many nodes, 44 objects. It might have locked up my computer. All right, back. See if we can't do something better. Now I can just delete these lines. Try not to get too much. Now we need to just kind of redraw the dog. Uh, I would like to use the three-point curve line. And all I'm going to do is connect some nodes and maybe give a little bit of rounded. Now you're going to say, well, this is not uh, actual, but you'll be able to see in just a second it's pretty close. You know, we need to just close up all the gaps where this, you know, basically what I would normally say the smart field tool would leak into, but we're not going to use the smart field. But you'll hopefully see in just a second if I can get this to work. Um, I'm going to go all the way down there and just kind of give a little bit of a curve. And you'll see in just a second, let me get rid of that one spot. And that could be his ear. Um, his shoulder doesn't really come out too much from there, but we need to at least stop it from leaking right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go down and then, well, I'm not doing a very good job. In this case, it might be better to, to use the um, two point line or the, any of the lines Two point curve line. I'm going to, I'm just going to draw a line across there. I do want to take away that bad spot, virtual segment, delete key, and maybe just draw a line straight from there to there. What I'm trying to do is just stop the leak because we are going to use the smart fill tool. I think we've, I think we've got all the leaks. You'll know in just a second. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Make sure you get all the dog and we're going to fill it in. I'm going to take something other than black 
and we have no links. So now I'm going to nudge it over and down. And because I always have better luck if we go, if we fill that in with blue and then nudge that up and then grab both of them, select both of them and go intersect. Look at that. The background of the dog is gone. Uh, for the one I'm doing this for, I'm still going to try to um, characterize your puppy dog. I just, or whoever this is, I just never have had any luck. Now, if you find some rough spots, you can still take the smoothing tool and smooth out this puppy dog's head. But that's beside the point right now. Maybe somebody will chime in that knows how to I call it like a cartoon character. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.